If you're investing time and money in cooking a beef roast, you want to end up with moist, flavorful, evenly cooked meat and a well-browned crust every time. Here are five tips that will help make sure your roast comes out perfect. The first step is to sprinkle the outside of the roast with kosher salt and let it stand at room temperature for at least an hour or in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours. As the roast sits, the salt draws out its juices, which then combine with the salt before being reabsorbed into the meat. This not only makes the meat more flavorful, it also helps it retain moisture. What about brining, you may ask? We've found that while it does make the meat juicier, it also leads to a bland, watery, and less beefy roast. We reserve brining for poultry and pork, things that have to cook to a pretty high temperature for food safety reasons. And we stick with salting for beef. Here's the second tip. If your roast is irregularly shaped, you might want to tie it into a more uniform shape before cooking. That will help it cook more evenly, and it will also make it easier to carve it into attractive slices. The third step is searing the meat before you put it into the oven. Everybody loves the flavor of a well-browned crust, but if you try to get that by simply blasting the roast in a hot oven, you run the risk of overcooking the roast. Instead, jumpstart the crust formation by searing the roast in a bit of oil on the stovetop for two or three minutes per side. You can do this in the roasting pan or in a skillet. Once you're ready to put the meat in the oven, make sure you're using the right oven temperature. Depending on the meat's size and shape, we'll roast as high as 450 degrees or as low as 225. The final thing you should do to ensure perfection is to let the meat rest for at least 10 minutes before you carve into it. During cooking, a lot of the meat's moisture is pushed toward the center of the roast. And if you cut into it right away, those juices will flow out onto the cutting board. A brief rest gives the tightened proteins a chance to relax and reabsorb the juices, so you end up with a roast that's moist and tender. And there you have it, five steps to getting the most out of your roast.